It looks like a storm is brewing. And I want to know, have you ever seen the rain? I want to know, have you ever seen the rain? Coming down on a sunny day. My sister gets a lot of packages. Hey buddy, are you wet? Hey buddy. Hey, what are you doing? Drawing. You're drawing? Show me what you're drawing. What? Oh, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I think you draw better than your sister. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Good girl. Hello, my name is Zach, and I like to backpack around the world. Today is day four of my six year vlog everyday goal, and I'm already out of ideas. Well, that sucks. Well, yeah. All right, I guess that's the end of the video. August 25th vlog is now complete. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumb. I'm just kidding. Of course, I'm going to give y'all an actual vlog. Don't worry. I'm not going to sell y'all short. I know the Daily Woo, his first few videos, his first hundred videos were like less than a minute long, and it was the stupidest shit you can imagine. And if he would have done those videos for the whole five year goal that he had, I probably wouldn't know who the Daily Woo is. So, you're not gonna get those kind of videos from me. Let's go out and make a vlog. Even though it's almost 7 p.m., I just got off work like an hour ago, less than an hour ago, and I don't know, I'm not comfortable with vlogging in my uniform or at work. I kind of want to keep my professional life and my personal life separate, even though I kind of hope someday this is my professional life. But for now, I am not going to tell you where I work. If you already know where I work, great. Keep it to yourself because if you leave it in the comments, I'm bound to delete it because for safety reasons and for financial reasons, I don't want to compromise anybody else's uh, tip money because I don't want people thinking that all delivery drivers, I guess I can go that far. I'm a delivery driver. Who for? I don't know. Could be Uber Eats, could be Grubhub, could be DoorDash, could be Pizza Hut, could be Papa John's, could be Little Caesars, could be wherever. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't want people thinking that these drivers make a lot of money because realistically we don't. I just work a lot of, lot of, lot of hours and that's how I afford to travel the world and I don't have any major bills. I know people look down on me for that. I do live with my grandfather and I don't feel bad about it because guess what? I'm only here for half the year. I'm never gonna bring a girl home because I don't care to date in Memphis, Tennessee, so that cancels that out. But when I'm away, when I'm away, huh? Oh, oh, did you, did you see my trip in Mexico? I had my own apartment the entire trip in Mexico City, in Guadalajara, in Playa del Carmen. I had my own apartment.
And guess what? I actually wanted to bring people over and I did and I was able to. I wouldn't even care to do this at my house. So, yeah, ramble over, let's go make a vlog, even though I'm already making the vlog, right? Right. And I don't get why people care so much about other people's lives anyways. Like, why do you want everybody to live their life this certain American blueprint way? I do not understand it. Like, live your own life. People do not understand this backpacker lifestyle that I have anyways, and they're never going to understand, no matter how many times I explain it. So, there's really no use to explaining it because no matter how much I explain it, people are going to criticize me or look down on me because of what I do for a living and my home life when I am home and uh, who I live with. Because apparently living with your grandfather is a bad thing. But in reality, it's kind of smart. I'm saving money. I'm able to travel the world half the year. Even during a global crisis, a global pandemic, I'm still able to travel. And I guess people are going to look down on me for traveling during the pandemic, but you already know I don't care about that because, because the global population, 10% of it depends on tourism. And that's all that needs to be said. I have no idea where I'm driving to, by the way. I'm just going to drive around, try to make a video somewhere of something. We will see what I get into today here in Memphis, Tennessee. As you can tell, I kind of taken care of all the smears of my windshield. Not completely, not totally. Probably just for a little amount of time. I just wiped it off with a napkin, honestly. I didn't use any Windex or anything, just a napkin. So I'm sure the smears will come back shortly. But until then, we're good. So I guess I'm going to Millington. That's the direction my car wanted to go. So that's where I'm gonna go. Let's check out Millington. I am now in Millington. Fun fact about Millington. This is where Justin Timberlake was born. Not in Memphis, not in Memphis city limits. He was born in Millington. He went to Millington Central High School, I believe. All right, well, I am hungry. 
I'm hungry! So, let's get something to eat here in Millington. Buffalo Wild Wings sounds good. Well, never mind. Well, never mind Buffalo Wild Wings. They had a 30 minute wait. I don't want to wait that long. So, let's have Chick-fil-A. You can't go wrong with Chick-fil-A. When I did my top three fast food places here in the United States, Chick-fil-A was on that list, as well as Arby's and Sonic. So, let's order on the app and yeah. All right, here comes my car hop, I believe. Yeah. Or I thought so. Okay, take two. Hello. Hey. Thank you. You have a good day. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I got my Chick Fil A. I got my large Coke. I have a chicken sandwich in here. We're good to go. And waffle fries. Now I'm going to drive somewhere where I can eat my food. Right over here looks pretty good. And this is what a chicken sandwich looks like from Chick-fil-A. And of course I got waffle fries. And plenty of Chick-fil-A sauce. This stuff is delicious. It tastes like heaven. Let's start off with the fries. If I don't drop them all in my car. Mm. So good. Some of the best fries in the world from Chick-fil-A. Mm. Let me wash it down with some Coke. A lot cheaper than Buffalo Wild Wings anyway, so I made a good call there. Now let's get to the main event, the chicken sandwich. Mm. 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 Perfect. These taste really good, as long as you get it in, I don't know, Tennessee, Florida, that area. I've had Chick-fil-A in Los Angeles. It's not the same in LA. 
Hell no. Hmm. All right, well. All right, well. I think it's time to wrap this video up. I'm going to enjoy my chicken sandwich, my Chick-fil-A. Thank you for watching. August 25th vlog is now complete. For real this time. Thank you for watching. My name is Zach, and I do like to backpack around the world. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And go ahead, hit that subscribe button and take it a step further and turn that notification bell on. And if you want, please leave a comment. It helps my channel out a lot. Sinking deeper every day And lately I am missing my reflection